Eu, welcome to Slay the Spire. They playing the daily challenge for June 20th, 2023. The character of the Watcher and the modifier star Kamira, you start in Legacy of Fusion of all characters. Time dilation, all enemies start with the slow debuff. And Big Game Hunter, elite enemies are no swarm in the spire and drop better wards, which means they only drop rare cards. So uh, yeah, this might be tough because I won't have a way to exit Wrath at the beginning. I see Vorplay doing really well here with 1642. Um, yeah, let's just get started and see how well I can do. Okay, so just to review the Camera deck, as I mentioned, I don't have a way to exit Wrath. I have Eruption, Zap, Survivor, and Bash. So I think I'll try to pick up a card that allows me to exit Wrath as soon as possible, as soon as I get one offered. I see a four lead path on the left and the right. If I turn left later on, yeah, that's good. So if I start on the left and stick left, I'll get one, two, three, four, five question mark rooms. Middle gives me um, one less question mark room. If I go here, turn right and then left, that'll give me one, two, also one less question mark room. And then on the far right side, I'll get one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the same path, either starting on the right or the left. Let me just check. If I go on the left, I do have one extra rest site. If I go on the right, I'll have, no, I have to skip the shop. I have two extra rest sites. Yeah, I, I think I'll stick on the left. Let me just make sure I didn't miscalculate, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so let's start on the left. Okay. All right, got the lice here. Um, I can kill one of them, right? Uh, yeah, let's do eruption strike. And then I should be able to kill the other one. Actually, do I? Yeah, I do have two strikes here. I need 20 damage here. I'll do zap, miracle defend, and then two strikes. With the slow debuff, that should be enough. Good. Okay, got a speed push and protect, wheel kick, worship. Um, wheel kick might be good good especially if i can enter wrath quickly let's take it mm -hmm. and then spike slime and essence slime i can kill this one with the wheel kick and then you know what i'm gonna risk doing eruption although next turn i only have one strike so that might not be worth it all right fine let's not do eruption still i'll just do a strike okay mm -hmm. 10 incoming here i can do no wheel kick and strike together it's only 15 damage let me do survivor and defend that way i'll be able to fully defend okay and then here I can do eruption kill with the strike. Good. Okay, protect tranquility wallop. Tranquility will allow me to exit wrath, but I think wallop might be better here. I know I said I was going to pick up the first way to exit wrath, but I think this is better. Uh, here I got my first curse injury as well as the golden idol. Enemies drop twenty five percent more gold, which is pretty good. Okay. And then here I got the jaw worm. I might consider. Yeah, I'm almost fully defended if I do eruption and then wallop. Yeah, almost fully defended, right? Thanks to the slow debuff, and I should be able to kill with a single strike next turn. Okay. Alright, got a colors potion, crescendo a collector study. I could pick up a study trying to get combo. Got the guardian at the end. Uh yeah, let's risk taking the study and going going for combo early on. Might be tough to do though. Remove transformer upgrade. I think I should start upgrading the eruption. Okay. Alright. And then first elite here, the Grumman knob. Yeah, I think I sort of have to do miracle. Let's do wheel kick, see if I can get an eruption. I did not. Uh, so then I'll just do zap and strike. Yeah, a little dangerous because I will have... Actually, six incoming is doable. I can fully defend with the survivor. But then I can't do eruption. I, I might try to do the bash. That's a survivor. And then bash. Okay. I don't think I really stand a chance of being able to pick this one. 12 incoming. That's doable. Let me see if the colors pushing gives me anything amazing. Dark Shackles, unfortunately, it's not going to be enough, right? I mean, it's better than nothing. Let's take it. Let's see what the wheel kick gives me. Yeah, if I had the energy to pay the wallop, that might be enough. I can actually still fully defend with the defend. Okay. I only need 20 damage, and I have the uh, the eruption coming up, right? Oh, wow. All right. was able to pick this one. Good. Got lucky. Thanks for that potion. Got Molden Egg. Whenever you add an attack into deck, upgrade it. As well as another speed potion. That seems a little too much. Vault, Conjure Blade, or Judgment. I think Vault is probably the best of these. Judgment might be good against some enemies. I think I'll go with the Vault. Okay. Then got the Looter here. Should I start with Vault? I mean, yeah, why not? It's not too bad. I could have done Wallop, I guess, to be fully defended, but I think this is fine too. Um, so here I'll do Bash and Strike. And let's do the Survivor as well. Okay. I don't want to lose too much HP here. Another 10. Can I kill if I do Eruption and then it will Strike? Yes. Good. Okay, Bowling Bash and Ignition Evaluate. Okay, still no way to exit Wrath. I think I'll take the Evaluate because I do have the Guardian coming up. Okay. Alright, so these uh, sentries don't have the slow debuff. Um, can I defend here? I mean, I have two speed potions. I probably should use one of them. I don't want to do wheel kick. It's going to be really tough to perfect this anyway, right? So, um, 
You know what? Let's avoid using the speed potion for now. Let's do defense survivor and then strike. Yeah, it's going to be really difficult to protect this one, I think. Okay. Uh, well, hang on. I do have wallop. Together with the uh, with the speed potion, it would be enough. But then next turn, I might still be able to defend. All right, fine. Let's do it. So I'll do wallop here, then defend. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, another nine. I do have eruption here and then vault. Is that going to help me in any way, though? That's a big question. Let's do eruption, miracle, vault. The problem is now I can't exit wrath, right? So whatever I do, yeah, I am in trouble here. All right, let's do bash, evaluate. There's nothing I could have done to perfect. Actually, I guess I could have played all the defensive cards with a speed potion, but then next turn would be difficult. Yeah, yeah, nothing I could do. I might even consider reloading because I might lose a lot of HP here because I'm in wrath and I cannot exit it. And the enemies still have a lot of HP. At least I can kill one of them, defend a little with the other uh, against the other, and then do one more strike, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, down to 11 HP. That's not good. Uh, let's do wheel... Actually, wallop allows me to be fully defended, so let's do wallop and then eruption, okay? Mm -hmm. And then here I should be able to kill with the strikes. Yeah, I lost a lot of HP there. That was definitely a risk that I probably shouldn't have taken. We got Mercury Hourglass at the start of the turn, deal three damage to all enemies. Devotion, Judgment, Master Reality. I don't really need Master Reality. Devotion might be interesting. I don't think I'll take the Judgment. Let's take the Devotion. And then I have to go left for two more Elites and two more Question Mark Rooms. And Nunchaku, every time I play 10 attacks, get extra energy. Good. And then Grumman Knob again. Okay, uh, at this point at least I luckily got the Eruption early on. So let's do Eruption Study. Uh, again, I'm in Wrath and I have to basically kill. 12 incoming. I do have the Wallop, that's huge. So I think I'll do I'll do Miracle. I kind of would like to do Wheel Kick and Wallop. No, uh, I think I'll do Bash and Wallop. Okay. All right, I only need 20 damage. And the enemy is vulnerable, so that just seems very doable. Phew. Okay, got lucky there. Perfect this one. We got Ice Cream Energy, so now conserve between turns. Spirit Shield is a solid defensive card. Let's take it. Okay. I am worried I might have to rest here, so just to be safe, I'll rest. I lost way too much damage to these entries. All right, Lag of Lumen. So here, I cannot wake up with the Eruption, but I think I'll play the Study, and I might as well do Zap, okay? And then is there anything else I want to wait for? Uh, yeah, the Devotion is the other thing I would like to get. Mm -hmm. Didn't get the Devotion. Should I try drawing it? I didn't. All right, I'll just do Evaluate and wait. Come. Okay. Huh? All right, here I got the Devotion a little too late, but I think it makes it might make sense to do Wheel Kick. And then I kind of want to do Vault. Yeah, let's do Miracle Vault here. Okay. That way I'll gain... Uh, wait. Yeah, I gain two Mantra. Okay. If I enter Eruption, I won't be able to exit it. Will I be able to kill? I am worried that I won't be. So let's just do a Strike and nothing else. Okay. Mm -hmm. 18. Yeah, I need to block here. Let's do Insight. Okay, there's Wallop. That's not enough. Well, I could defend on that Wallop. Let me do Zap. So I'm up to 10 block. Uh, defend brings me up to 11. That's 16 total. I think it has to be another Defend, right? What if I do Strike? 12, 17. Insight. And then Wallop. Yeah, that is 18 exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just have to defend this turn as well. Spirit Shield. Beautiful. Awesome. Okay, I got lucky there. I think I'll save my HP because in two turns I'll be in Divinity. I should be able to deal a lot of damage that way. So, um, yeah, why don't I just do Eruption Strike, and then next turn, I'll be in Divinity, and hopefully, I mean, I'm sure I'll be able to draw some defensive cards. Yeah, this is enough to kill. All right, perfect, this one. So I actually didn't have to rest if I didn't really want to. We got a Pico, your first attack, each combat deals 8 additional damage. I will take the Omniscience, even though I don't have anything at the moment to Omniscience, but I'm hoping I'll be, be able to pick up something good. Should I take Curse number 2 or get a Relic? I think I'll take Curse number 2. Also, it allows me to heal, which is nice. And then remove a card or heal. I don't think I need to remove a card or heal. So I think I'll leave and um, save, the H uh, save the gold for another shop. Upgrading the Omniscience is tempting, but um, I'm trying to think if there's anything better to upgrade. Actually, let's upgrade the Devotion, because then if I Omniscience the Devotion, I'll be able to enter Divinity very quickly. Okay. All right, Guardian. Not a great starter. Not a great starter at all. Let's do Akabiko Strike and Zap. Save the energy for later. I need to deal 19 damage. I am unable to deal 19 damage unless I omniscience something like wheel kick. Yeah, that's a bummer. 
It's really hoping to omniscience, omniscience the uh, devotion. I don't think there's anything else I can omniscience, right? Yeah, I think it has to be wheel kick. All right. Yeah, let's omniscience the wheel kick. Where is it? Here? Okay. Yeah, I didn't even break through the other point of block. Okay. So I just have to make sure I can also defend every turn. Nine incoming. Wallop is not enough. I have to do... Here, let's do devotion. Uh, wait. Uh-oh. So I think I have to do the speed potion, right? Yeah, let's do the speed potion then. And do defend. Okay. Next turn I have 16. I have no idea how I'm going to defend against that. I need to draw the spear shield. Okay. That is actually great. All right. And then evaluate. Good. Mm-hmm. And here I have 20 incoming. Can I deal 37 damage? Uh, no. See, this is where I needed the speed potion. I don't think there's anything I can do, right? Huge bummer. Yeah, nothing I could have done. Um, yeah, all right, fine. In that case, I mean, I'm losing HP already, right? So I might as well play the study. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I do think maybe I did waste one speed potion at the elite fight that I wasn't able to perfect anyway. So maybe if I hadn't done that, I would have been able to perfect this one. Um, yeah, let's do Bash here. Okay. Next turn I'll be in Divinity. And then, oh, Wallop is great. 40 block and damage, of course. And then let's see if I can also... Yeah, I should have done the Bash probably first. Let me see if I can draw another good attack card, another Wallop, and a Strike for a kill. Yeah, very unfortunate. Just got a little unlucky in this fight. So, do I want to go for Collector Bonuses? Or is there any reason to stick with Highlander? Not really. I think I'll try to go for Collectors, right? Yeah, let's take a second omniscience. I can try to do some omniscience chaining. And then Black Star is always safe. I don't think I can take a Rooney Dome. Definitely not Sozo. Let's take Black Star. At least I'm just a relic when defeated. Okay. Alright, got the Collector at the end here. And in terms of Elites, four Elite Path, right side, left side as well. Middle doesn't... Actually, middle there's also... No, middle doesn't have four Elite Paths. Yeah. So if I go into far left, I'll get one, two, and then turn left three turn right also th uh wait one two three yeah no four four question mark rooms. no three question mark sorry th four elites three question mark rooms on the left on the right side i'll get one two three four okay so one extra question mark room also an early shop which i actually wouldn't mind going to because i have a lot of gold at the moment okay all right, here, let's start off with Akabika Wallop. Actually, here, let me do Evaluate first, then Akabika Wallop. That way, I'll be fully defended as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, here, I mean, I can play the Omniscience, then Omniscience. Two things. What should those be, though? Uh, yeah, fine, let's do it. Omniscience 1, Omniscience 2. One of the Omniscience should probably be... How about Eruption and the Wheel Kick? Yeah, that should deal a lot of damage, right? Yep, beautiful. All right, you got a power potion, four side sash whip, or rush down. I don't enter wrath that often. It's just the eruption, right? I think I'll go with the sash whip. Four side might have been good too. Okay, orange pellets. I don't really have any good debuffs. I'm not sure if that's necessary. Let me first check cards. There is a vault, but it's not super cheap. Not a bad idea though. Yeah, let's take the vault here, and then signature move. I do have, I do have some attacks. Not a lot, but I do have some. So I don't think I should take it. It's also not really cheap. Master of Strategy would be great, but it's very expensive. I don't think I'll afford that. Let me take the Orange Pellets. Might be useful. One of you play Power, Attack, and Skill in the same turn. Remove all a few debuffs. And then I think that's it. Yeah, I'm not happy with the shop. I think I'll save the gold for another one. Okay. And then I decided to go on the right, right? Yeah, four elites and a bunch of question mark rooms. Okay. Remove a card or upgrade all strikes and defense. Again, I don't think there's anything I'd urgently need to remove, so let's just upgrade all strikes and defense. Okay. And then here we'll definitely take curse number three, the Decay. All right. Okay, so I already have three curses. Just need two more for the curse modifier. All right, 12 incoming. I think I can do wheel kick and then wallop. Yeah, sure. Let's do wheel kick. Yeah, that's the omniscience I can't play. Then do the wallop. Only 10 block, but I think that's good enough. Okay. Another 10. Uh, Yeah, unfortunately, I can't do the omniscience, right? All right, let's do vault. See what I get. Uh-huh. Study Strike Devotion. All right, looks like I'm going to take some damage here. Uh, I think I'll just do Devotion and Study. Okay. Yeah, not having extra energy is annoying. All right, another 12. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just do another Volt. Okay. And then here, there's another Omniscience that I can't play, unfortunately. Two Omniscience I can't play. Great. 
Uh, let's get rid of one of them, and then I'll do zap and strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, 12. There is the wallop. You know what? I think I'm going to risk entering... Um, actually, it's 12. Yeah, I mean, I should enter Wrath just to try to deal damage sooner rather than later. 19. Let me do a regular strike first and then do the wallop. That allows me to be almost fully defended. And I just need very little to kill here. 14 damage total. Oh, and I'm in Divinity. Good. Alright, so Signature Move, Crescendo, Empty Fist. I could take Signature Move to try to get the Overkill if I'm in Divinity, right? Empty Fist would allow me to exit Wrath. But I think I'll do the Signature Move, sure. Okay. And then turning right for the first Elite here. Grumman Leader, who is attacking me on turn 1. I do have Omniscience and Vault. So if I Omniscience something like Spirit Shield and Wallop, that might be enough. What about Divinity? Uh, not Divinity, the Devotion. Wait, so it's 19 plus... No, I need to kill the minions somehow. This is tough. So, if I omniscience one of the devotions, and then the other omniscience, if that's spirit shield, it'll be played twice. I have to do miracle omniscience, so then I only have four cards. So the spirit shield will only give me 12 times 2, 24. That's not enough. So I have to figure out a way to kill the minions. Yeah, I don't think there's a way for me to be able to play the Devotion. So I think I have to do something else. Let's do Miracle Omniscience. Uh, the other Omniscience. And then it has to be the Spirit Shield to gain enough block to defend against the Backlander. And then it also has to be something to kill the minions. So I think the best thing to do is to just play an attack and hope that it hits the minions. Uh, Sash Whip, the enemy is not weakened. How about Sash Whip? Then even if it doesn't hit the minions, there's a small chance I might be able to target the Backlander. Um, is that enough? 1827? No, not even close. Actually, I just had an idea. Let me reload real quick, real quick. I do have the power pusher, right? That allows the spirit shield to deal, to give me three extra block, and that would make the difference, right? Okay. So, let me do the power potion first. Mental Fortress Master Reality Establishment. Doesn't really matter, right? I guess I, I don't switch that's enough. I, I don't really need establishment either. Um... Master Reality will trigger the study. I just barely play it. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Then I'll do Miracle Omniscience. The Omniscience. Then the... Um, what do you call it? The Spirit Shield. And then I still will do the Sash Whip. Okay. Yeah, this way I have 30. And I just have to kill one of them. Okay. And I got lucky with the attack pattern. And the... Uh, the um, what is it? I was going to say study. But no. Sash Whip hit the backliner. So now I'm fully defended anyway. Alright. Fine. Okay. Alright. Alright. And then Backlash not attacking here. I can do the signature move. Yeah, let's do Strike and then signature move. 44. Too bad I'm not in Divinity there. Mm -hmm. And then here, Eruption is too dangerous. Yeah, I won't be able to fully defend if I do Eruption. I think... Hmm, what do I do here? If I do, if I do Eruption, then Bash... No, there's no way for me to to stay alive. So I think I have to do Survivor. Is there any way? I mean, next turn I have Vault. Yeah, fine. Let's do Survivor and Zap. I think I'll save the energy for next turn. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, next turn I'll be weakened, and the backline is guaranteed to be attacking me. Yeah, 27. I do have Wallop. That's not going to do anything, though. Yeah, I don't think I stood a chance here at all. Yeah. In that case, let's just do strike one, strike two. Wallop is only seven block. Yeah, strike two and then wallop. Okay. Yeah, nothing I can do though. Taking a lot of damage actually. Okay. And then here, let's do devotion and vault. Okay. And uh, here I'll do... Let me see what the zap hits. I was hoping it would hit the mad gremlin. And then I will guess I'll do wallop. Okay. Mm-hmm. Backline is not attacking. That's good. Um, I can't do... Well, actually, if I do Eruption here, let's do Eruption and then Strike. Okay. Hoping I can kill. Okay, luckily I'm still not being attacked. Let's do another Strike and Vault. Still take two damage from the Decay there. And here I'm in Divinity and I can do Wheel Kick to kill. Yeah, bummer I wasn't able to pick this one, but I got a Strawberry. I got Strawberry. Up and pick up Racer makes sure we buy 7. And Juzu Brisa, normal enemy combats are normally encountered in question mark rooms. A Colorless Potion and Omniscience number 3. Okay. Be funny if I get a collective bonus on Omniscience uh, and nothing else. Uh, let me upgrade the Omniscience. Yeah, make it... Actually, should I upgrade all the Omnisciences or is there something better to upgrade? Maybe upgrading the Vault might be easier. Make it a little cheaper to play. No, let me upgrade the Omniscience. That way I can play it even if I don't have the Miracle. But I think I should try to save the Miracle for when I draw the Omniscience. 
All right, got these levers here. There's a signature move that is enough to kill the backliner. Okay. Unfortunately, then I won't be able to fully defend. At all. Let me see what this gives me. Magnus and Flash of Steel or Panacea. I guess I'll risk it. Let's... Ooh, I messed up. I messed up. Let me see what this draws me. Well, I can still kill the backliner, but now there's no way for me to defend. Let me reload real quick and try by just playing the vault. And, um, I mean, I there was basically no chance I would have been able to perfect the right if I killed one of them. So, with the vault, at least there is a small chance I can perfect somehow. If I get the omniscience, for example. Uh, this is annoying. If I, get an, if I play another vault, the decay will make me lose my perfect. And this gives me the same thing. Alright, let's do Flash of Steel again. Okay, there's the omniscience. That's good. Okay, so if I omniscience, the omniscience is one of those could be spirit shield, which would be six times two or times three, so 1836. I'm being attacked for 32. Okay, that would work. So let's do that. Let's omniscience the omnisciences. Then one of those omnisciences will play the spirit shield, the other one, the devotion. And then the last one. I'm not sure. Should that be Sashwa? Yeah, why not? It'll make one of them weaken at least. Okay. Okay, yeah, and that's not a bad amount of damage, and now in two turns I'll be in Divinity. Okay, yeah, so that was definitely a better play. Okay, and then here, 20 incoming. Uh, Wallop, actually, hang on, I can kill the backliner with a strike. Hang on, let's do Wallop 9, I need 14 though, right? So I think what I have to do is I'll do Strike, then uh, Wallop and Survivor with the, um, actually, a Defend. Survivor doesn't matter, yeah, let's do a Defend here, okay. And now this turn I'll be in Divinity. So here, Wheel Kick is enough to kill you, and then Eruption is enough to kill you. Not quite. Bash is enough to kill... No, wait. What is enough to kill here? Uh, yeah, how about Strike and Eruption? Good. Okay, perfect. This one. We got Turnip. Uh, you can no longer become Frail, and Calipers at the start of your turn lose 15 block rather than all of you block. Ragnarok Establishment Devotion. Ragnarok is pretty good. Yeah, I should definitely take that just because together with the um, Omniscience, it might be really good. Got Frozen Egg. What if you add a power card into deck? Upgrade it. Okay. And then Gremlin Leader again. Yeah, I don't have any UE damage, which makes things which makes this harder. I think I'll start with the Vault. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. And then here, I mean, I can fully defend, right? So let's do Devotion, Defend. Actually, one Defend is not en enough, right? It has to be two Defense because of the Decay. That Decay is curse is starting to annoy me a lot. Okay. Hmm. But I would like Omniscience here. I didn't get it, but I can play Vault again. Okay. Uh huh. And yeah, there's the Omniscience, but unfortunately I can only play one more. And then Spirit Shield again is not going to give me much. I need 27, right? Do you have Wallop? I don't know. Let's definitely do Miracle Omniscience. Play the other Omniscience. And then what else here? So Spirit Shield is only 1224. That's not even enough for the backliner if I can magically kill the others. But if I do Spirit Shield and Wallop, there's a chance I might kill the minion. And give me some block. Let's try it. Yeah, let's do Spirit Shield. And then Wallop. Okay. So 24. Alright, one Wallop. And a second Wallop. Okay, good. That's actually pretty good. Alright. Mm -hmm. Alright, 7 incoming. Almost fully defended. Ragnarok might be a problem if it doesn't hit the Mad Gremlin often enough, right? So I don't think I can risk it. I think instead I'll do Strike. And then Survivor. Okay. It's a shame I wasn't able to play the Ragnarok. Hmm. Backliner is attacking me again. And I'm in Divinity here. So if I do something like Wheel Kick... Oh boy, Sash Whip the 57. And it's very close, but not quite enough to kill. Is there anything else I can do? Not really, right? So the best I can do is Sash Whip. And then Eruption with the Slow Debuff. Phew, that is enough to kill. Awesome. Alright, perfected this one. It was very close though. Alright, so here I got Cloak Clasp. At the end of your turn, gain one block for each card in your hand, as well as Singbo. When adding cards into your deck, you may erase your max should be by two instead. Yeah, Collectibles and Munitions. Beautiful. Alright. And then here, oh, this is a great event. I can get two relics out of it. Uh, yeah, let's start off with Omniscience. Now that I can do some nice chains, let's play all three. Okay. So first I'll do... Uh, what do I want to do first? How about I do Eruption first twice, then Bash twice... And then the Ragnarok twice. I think that should be plenty. Oh, I can do one more thing. Uh, yeah, sure, Wallop. Why not? I don't think it'll come to that, actually. Beautiful. Alright, and then here, a powerful fight with two relics at the end. Gremnob and Taskmaster. Um, 
I don't want to do wheel kick because I might draw the um, the uh, omniscient. So I think instead I'll do a valid devotion and save the energy for next turn. Okay. Hmm. All right. Yeah. There's the omniscient. Unfortunately, I drew a lot here. Um, signature move is a lot of damage. Is there anything else? No. I think I'll do Ragnarok with the uh, Akabiko. Right. Let's do omniscient one, omniscient two, and then Ragnarok. As well as something like, uh, I don't know, uh, Eruption at the end? Sure. Okay. Yeah, the one Ragnarok was enough, actually. Good. That old coin up, pick up, gain 300 gold. That's really good. And Kunai, every time play three attacks in a single turn, gain one dexterity. So as a Cultist Potion and third eye Cutthroat Pressure Point. Cutthroat is a decent card. Okay. All right, should I upgrade more Omniscience this next? Or actually, let me upgrade the Spirit Shield. That would allow me to actually Omniscience the Spirit Shield for even more block in a turn where I need it. And then going left for one more question mark room and elite. Uh, heal or get a card. I don't think I need to heal. Let's gain a good card. How about... I don't see any AV damage. I don't see a worship either. How about a deceive reality? Yeah, let's do it. It's a solid defensive card. Let's take it. Okay. Alright, then book of stabbing here. 12 incoming. I guess I should do the omniscience, right? Let's do omniscience 1, omniscience 2, and 3. So then I'll do Ragnarok with Akibiko at the beginning. And then I think I'll do something like Eruption and then just something to deal damage like the... Uh, not the... Oh, actually, Wheel Kicker Wall. Let's do wall, wall Up just in case I need to defend. But no, the Ragnarok at the beginning is enough. Okay. Before I take the Bottle Lightning and Bottle Flame, let me see what I got here. A fifth Omniscience. I mean, I'll take it just for fun. Yeah. Bottle Flame. I'll pick up, cho choose an attack. So I just come with this guy in your hand. I think that should be the Ragnarok because I always have a Kibiko. On the other hand, actually, no, I'll be able to also pick uh, Omniscience to be my first turn. So I think instead I'll take the uh, Cutthroat Fate for card draw and the Bottle Lightning will be the upgraded Omniscience. Okay. Right, so now I'm almost guaranteed to play the Omniscience, right? So then I think, I'm not sure what I should upgrade. Let me upgrade the Study. Because I still haven't gotten either overkill or combo, so I might be able to try to do that in the fight where I'm not in, da in danger of taking damage. Yeah, so here, this is beautiful. I'll do the Omnisciences. So one, two, three, four, and five. So first I'll play the Ragnarok. Okay. Then I'll do... Um, wait, do I have an attack here? I do have a bunch. Then I'll do something like Eruption. Then, uh, I guess, Sash Whip. Strike? Sure, let's do the other strikes then. Okay. Should be plenty, right? Mm -hmm. Eruption. And that's enough to kill. Beautiful. That was a one turn uh one turn collector kill. Lesson learned scroll. Okay, six omniscience? That's a little too much. That's too much, right? I mean that's just unfair. I think I'll take the scroll instead. Yeah, I already have enough omniscience, I don't think I need more. Alright, Violet Lotus, Busted Crown, or Sacred Bark. Sacred Bark is not really necessary. Violet Lotus is not really necessary either. I don't think I need any of these, but... Uh, fine, let's take the Sacred Bark. It's a solid, solid sort of safety relic. Double the effect in the potions. I don't really need extra energy because I already start off with a bunch of omnisciences. Don't know, Deca might be difficult, but I think I should be able to get through them. One, two, three, four. Uh, I was hoping to get a five elite path, but no, I'm only seeing four elite paths, right? Yeah, that's a bummer. Lots of four elite paths, though. So if I go on the far left, I'll get one. Just one question mark room and an early shop. If I go in the middle and then turn left, that's basically the same thing. Middle and right. Or left and then turning right is one, two, three question mark rooms. Okay. Still need two curses, though. And then what about if I middle and then stick on the right? No, that's not enough elites. Right side gives me one, two, three, four, shop, five, six. Wait, no, that's not a four elite path. Yeah, sorry. To get the four elite path on the right, I have to get the four early question mark rooms, an early shop. Wait, is that? Yeah, yeah. And then two more. So six question mark rooms. I think that's the best path. Hoping to get two more curses. Okay. Yeah, should I? I mean, okay, fine. I'll do the omniscience. At some point, I have to try to figure out a way to get either combo or overkill. Because I don't think I got either. But maybe I'll do that against uh, some other enemy. Here, I'll just play some random stuff. Because I think the, um, the wallop, or not the wallop, the Ragnarok should be enough, right? Yeah, it's a lot of damage at the beginning. Pressure points, tranquility, empty fist. I think now I'll take the empty fist to allow me to exit wrath. And then, beautiful. I got enough curses and a bunch of gold. Okay. I just have to make sure... Oh, wait. Uh, I'm okay losing a strike. I have to make sure I don't accidentally draw the normality on turn one. We got anchor, so I just come with 10 block. Yeah, that might actually be a big problem, right? If I draw it on turn one. And then here, upgrade to random cards, transform to... Actually, I wouldn't mind transforming the curses. Let me make sure I have five, right? Two normalities, parasite... 
uh, were the other two? Injury and decay, yeah. Yeah, I, actually, I think transforming... Yeah, I think transforming the two normalities would be great. Because if I draw them, I'll be in trouble. Yeah, Parasite and Clumsy, that's perfect. Actually, also unique if I was decided if I decided to go for the highlighter modifier, but I'm sort of glad I didn't. Okay. Alright, 18. Uh, yeah, let's just kill here again. Alright, here I got Vajra, Sarge Combat with one strength, as well as Teardrop, Lockout, Sarge Combat, and Calm. Brilliance, Spirit Shield, and Blasphemy. Let's take a second br Spirit Shield, Brilliance, or Blasphemy might be good, but I think I'll try to go for a Collector Bonus if I can. Alright, lots of gold. I can buy everything here, right? Uh, yeah, let's take the Grumman Horn. When an enemy dies, can injury and draw one card. Dark Storm Perry up. Whenever you obtain a Cursing, Cursing makes sure we buy six. Cauldron up and pick up. Bruce, five random potions. I'll take the Entropic Brew, the Ambrosia Potion, and uh, I don't think I need the others. Yep. Let's take the Apotheosis, which is great. Sash Whip, Bowling Mash. I don't think I need pressure points. Worship would allow me to enter Divinity. I'll take the Battle Hymn. Why not? And then Deep Breath. Anything I need to remove? Not really. Yeah, I think I'm good. And that's pretty much it. Okay, I still have a lot of gold if I have another question mark room shop. Okay. Yeah. Alright, Raptor Mancer. So here I'll do something slightly different. I um, will enter Divinity first. Okay. Uh, well, Divinity by playing the Worship twice, uh, which is here. And then I'll do the Ragnarok. So I think that should deal a lot of damage. Let me just play some random cards here because mostly it doesn't matter because I think the Divinity Ragnarok should be enough. So each hit is 94 damage. That's a lot. Before I take the Bottle Tornado, let's take Pendip. Every 10th attack you play deals double damage. And then Devotion, Spirit Shield, Conjure Blade. Let's take a third Spirit Shield. Bottle Tornado, pick up, choose a power card. I think I will take the... Um, doesn't really matter, but let's take the Study. And so I think this makes sure that my opening hand is only has an 8 cards. Well, not that I would have been in danger of drawing the Normality anyway. You got Question Card, Future Card Awards, or one additional card to choose from. And then going left for two more elites. Anything I need to upgrade? Anything else I need to upgrade? Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? I guess I can upgrade something like the Apotheosis, sure. Okay. All right. If I had Dreamcatcher, I would actually rest that rest sets at this point. Um, I could take a Wraith, but I don't think I really need it. I think instead I'll take the two Madnesses. It gives me two cards closer to, getting me closer to uh, 50 cards, although I still, I need the next question mark room to be a shop for that to happen. Okay, wait, so can I get either Overkill or Combo here? Um, I can enter Divinity, get a bunch of... Yeah, let's try that. So I think what I'll do is I'll do the Omniscient Chain. And then I think... Well, maybe playing the Ragnarok at the beginning might... Actually, it'll kill, right? That's too dangerous. Let me not do the Ragnarok at the beginning. I think I will do Worship to enter Divinity. And then how about I just do... Um, how about here? I'll do Apotheosis to upgrade things. Then do just regular attack. So Wheel Kick... I don't think I'll do Wallop. I don't have any strikes. So how about Sash Whip? And then another Sash Whip. Why not? That should deal a lot of damage, right? Yeah, 165. Okay, I did get Overkill then. And no, I killed too quickly. I only played 17 cards. That was a problem. I should have done something else. Yeah, Dreamcatcher, whenever you rest, you may add a card into your deck. That's the next thing I'll do. And then Bronze Scale, so I just go with three Thorns. An Energy Potion, which I don't think I'll take. And Vault Judgment, last me establishment. I think now... Wait, how many? I have two Vaults, right? Let's take a third one. Small chance I might get a collector bonus on that. We got Warpaint up and pick up a two random skills. Survivor and Deceive Reality got upgraded. And Nemesis again. Okay, so let me try to get combo here. Oh no, I have one Omniscience already. That's a bummer. Alright, let's do the Omniscience first. So I can only play this many. Alright. I don't want to do Ragnarok. So how about first I'll do Apotheosis. Then... Uh, Worship, sure. And then uh, something that does simple uh, damage, like the, uh, like the, uh, wait, do I not have the, I'm blanking on the name of the card. Wheel kick, wheel kick, that's the one I was looking for. And then let's do Deceive Reality too, okay. So, I'm in Divinity here, oh, I killed again too quickly. Ah, we got Pair Up and Pick Up Race to make sure we buy 10, which is nice, Lantern Strike come with additional energy, and Spirit Shield, that allows me to get the Collector bonus on that as well, right? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. And then, I mean, I can't get to 50 cards, but I probably should. There's nothing to upgrade, so let's gain another card reward here. Uh, wait, I start off with 72, right? So 87. I should have enough max HP. I don't need more. Uh, Nirvana, Reach Heaven, Mental Fortress. Not a huge fan of any of these, but I guess I'll take Reach Heaven. Okay. All right, let me try. Last chance to get combo or overkill. Where am I on Pendip? Okay, so Pendip should trigger... Actually, no, I already got overkill, right? So I just need... Um, I just need the combo modifier okay 
So, I think for that end, um, I will play the Omniscience. Let me actually enter Divinity now, then do the Entropic Brew. Okay, there's Bottle Miracle as well, and another Ambrosia Push. It's really good. Let's do the Bottle Miracle. Okay. So, um, I'm going to start off with one, two, three, four, five cards. Okay. Then six. Uh, well, let, let me play this first. And then uh, I'll play the Apotheosis twice. The uh, Devotion twice. And then, uh, should I do Spirit Shield? Is there a better way here? Let's do the... Uh, it's not in my opening hand, is it? No. Um, where is the Deceive Reality? Yeah, that gives me an up block. And then I can do... I should do probably one set of damage with the Ragnarok, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Alright. I am not counting cards, but I feel like that's a lot of cards I played. Okay. And then I can do something like Cut Through Fate. Get rid of this. Another Omniscience to play something else twice. How about, uh, I don't know, Wheel Kick for Card Rush. Oh no, that kills both of them. I really hope I get combo there. Oh, I would be upset if I didn't get combo. Alright, let's see. So, 1584, which is pretty good. And... Phew, I got combo. Okay, I think that must have been in the last fight, right? Yeah, I barely got Mystery Machine, which is nice. Only got two collector bonuses, but I think it's worth it because I was able to get curses. Though. Theoretically, I would have been able to have unique curses as well. Uh, I didn't get Uh so if somebody was able to get Highlander, I would have. Uh, he would that person would have had fifty points more than me. But um, no, I'm pretty happy. Thanks to the munitions, I was able to kill uh, or to perfect ten of the twelve elites. All two of the three bosses had no chance against the Act One boss. Maybe with some luck and reloads, I might have been able to perfect that one, but. Yeah, I was able to get overkill combo, raining money, I like shiny. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with all the other modifiers. It's just, uh, yeah, just that one extra perfected boss. 1684 would have been possible if I had gotten lucky against the Act 1 boss, but, um, oh, actually, 1684 would have put me in 11th place. We'll probably get 1642, so that's about 50 points more, no, 34? Yeah, 32, that's about, well, it's 48 points more than what, I, no, wait, 42? Oh, that's weird, that's, uh, f uh, 58 points more than me. I wonder if that means there's some different RNG thing going on. Yeah, that could explain it. But yeah, so Vorpal did really well. So yeah, if I had perfected that boss, 1684 would have put me in a pretty good spot. But uh, unfortunately, I didn't. And also, just again, to re reiterate, you can tell the drop-off in scores. So Vorpal, I mean, I did really well. Um, and I missed one boss. Perfecting one boss would have been 1684. And then after that, there's a jump from 1657 to 1944. So pretty much everything up here cannot be a legit score, right? There must be something else going on. So Vorpal really, at this point, is second place. So congratulations to Vorpal. Let me know in the comments what you did. Oh, let me reload with the front spot to review the scores from yesterday. Alright, so yesterday was a silent run with the sealed deck modifier as well as Hoarder and Midas. Um, and so I was very happy with the decision to not get a lot of collector bonus thanks to sealed deck and Hoarder at the beginning. I think as a result, I got a lot of collector bonuses total, although I was beat in the number of collector bonuses by David, who had an amazing score of 1902, as well as 23 collector bonuses, which I think is the most anybody was able to get. Also was able to affect everything, all the five elites, all the all the three bosses. You can check out David's comments, uh, David's comments on yesterday's video. There is a link to his Twitch stream and his YouTube video. Uh, so he was able to get overkill, wasn't able to get combo though. That one I got very lucky by getting um, two shift potions with Sacred Bark, right? So that, that alone was 12 cards and I was able to play uh, eight other cards. And then interestingly, David has a similar draft deck uh, to what I was able to get, but um, he picked up an extra set of expertise as well as the footwork, which I think definitely helped him. So congratulations, that's a very amazing score. You have Steven here with 1806, Malzan got 1800 exactly. Malzan also was able to affect everything, uh, got only 19 collector bonuses, so that explains the 100 points difference from, uh, to David. Um, and then Malzan, just like me, didn't or tried to not take any duplicates in the draft phase, in the sealed deck phase, uh, which I think is the right idea to get as many collector bonuses as possible. Malzan did take an extra footwork, which as I mentioned, same with David, I think helped him a lot. And then interestingly, Malzan used the Astrolabe to transform three apparitions, which is not something I thought of, but that does increase increase the chance of you being able to get a Mind Blast, which I didn't see at all. Having a Mind Blast yesterday would have helped me a lot perfecting all the bosses. Uh, unfortunately, Malzan didn't get a Mind Blast, um, so unfortunately that, that didn't work. Also, Malzan accidentally took three upgrade Infinite Blades, but those together with the Terror that he bottled uh, were actually not a bad idea in the end. So yeah, congratulations, that's a pretty good score. You have Goldbeer with 1788. Uh, Goldbeer got 18 collector bonuses and was one of the very few people who was able to get the wing boots. If you remember yesterday, there was an early shop where uh, you didn't have, actually there was a shop in the question mark room where you didn't have enough gold to be able to afford the wing boots. Uh, but Goldbeer, I suspect with a slightly different path, he was able to get that wing boots in a shop and afford it. Uh, 
Then you have Peltzer with 1779. Um, Peltz perfected all the bosses, got 18 collector bonuses as well. And uh, yeah, Peltz was very upset about not being able to get the wing boots because I think that's that's one of the reasons that Peltz never goes for an early shop. And then there's nothing you can do right if one of the, I think it was the second question mark room is a shop. And was able to get overkill but didn't get combo. Uh, then you have Cosmino here with 1754. I end up with 1727. I perfected f uh, three elites, two bosses. I missed one of the bosses. Got 21 collector bonuses, which is second place after David's 23. Um, and then I was able to get overkill and combo. Um, but yeah, so missing that boss definitely hurt me. You have Yavos here with 1727 as well. And then a few people tied at 1725, including PGM, Hobo, Vorpal, and Cobalt. Uh, Cobalt actually was able to perfect everything, got 17 collector bonuses, uh, but was a little upset that he perfected everything, but uh, got a slightly lower score than me where I didn't perfect anything. I think, uh, not everything, I guess. Uh, I think the key is collector bonuses, right? Because I got 21 and Cobalt got uh, only 17. So that's, that's the 100 points uh, right there. So yeah, yesterday I think collector bonuses were very important. Yeah, you have Bjorn here with 1708, and then Panda was 1702, tied with Kyle at 1702 as well. Uh, Kyle went for a Shiv and Blur slash Block deck uh, and had a lot of fun, so congratulations for a pretty good score. You have Flicknicken with 1654, uh, then you have Konstantinos with 1650, and then on the next page you have Cliver, a new commenter with 1627. So Cliver was able to perfect all the elites uh, and two bosses, went for a poison deck, which is interesting. That's not something I uh, thought I could really do. Uh, and was able to get overkill by dealing over 1500 damage to one of the enemies, the, the last boss actually. And then interestingly, I titled yesterday's video that there was not a single backstab. Cliver actually did see uh, one set of backstabs, so that's pretty nice. Then you have Ichio here with 1655. Um, Ichio perfected three of the five elites, got two bosses, got 17 collector bonuses, and also addressed a different RNG. For example, Ichio didn't see a well-laid well plants, which definitely helped me a lot, and also focused more on poison yesterday. I think that's it for the top 100. You have Dopar here with 1575. Dopar got 4 out of 5 elites, but only 1 boss and only 17 collector bonuses, but still barely missed the top 100. And then Michael Akos, who got 1575. Uh, I haven't seen that name in a long time, so I'm happy to see that Michael Akos is back to playing Slay the Spire. I think that's it for familiar commenters. There's Micronex who got 1500 exactly, so slightly lower on the score side. Perfect the two leads, one boss. Only got 15 collector bonuses, which I think is what hurt him most. Micronex was one of the people who took uh, duplicates at the beginning on the draft deck, so he already had a bunch of collector bonuses, but I think that generally is not a great strategy because then you have less chance of getting more collector bonuses later on. And the Micronex also took the orange pellets and used the flex potion to get the orange, uh, orange pellets to do some scaling for the Act 3 boss. But yeah, yesterday was a lot of fun. I mean, a uh, uh, hoarder run with a lot of opportunity for high scores. But let me know what you did today in today's comment. Thanks for watching. Bye.